Hello, my name is Roy Tomalina with BMEX. During this short video, I'll teach you about calibrator mode on the MC6. On the home screen, we have meter, calibrator, and documenting calibrator. We cover those in other videos. I just want to look at calibrator mode right now. Calibrator mode allows you to source and measure at the same time. You pick your quantities. Let's take this as an example. I've got an RTD temperature transmitter, so I need to simulate temperature. I tend to put the input on the top, so we'll go select quantity. My input in this case is RTD temperature. Now I'm simulating instead of measuring, so I do want simulate, and my type is a Platinum 100 385, so that's perfect. Quantity for the output. What's the output on this? It's current. I'm measuring, if I'm not sure, if I'm measuring or sourcing, I said just press that button. If I'm not sure where to plug in, press the button. If I take my output, I just have to match the picture. So I need to match this picture right here. And as long as I can get red to red and black to black, I'm good. So there's my output. I'll select it. Now on my input, I wasn't paying attention to know where to plug in. So if we go back up here to simulation, this shows you where to plug in to simulate RTD. You'll notice that I'm plugging in two leads. This is actually a four wire RTD. And, but behind the scenes here, we've actually doubled up a couple of the wires just to make it easier for my demo. But if you had a four wire RTD and you had four leads, you simply stack the two reds on top and then stack the two blacks. Now, somebody painted over the label. I don't have a communicator handy. I need to know what this thing is ranged at. So let's put in a value. I'll start off with a zero, see if I get lucky. Okay, I've got four milliamps out. So I know that my zero is probably around zero degrees C. This transmitter will output four to 20 milliamps. So if I can find out what my zero is at four, I just have to keep entering values until I get 20 milliamps out. Then I know I'm at my span. On here, the definition of a Platinum 100 385 is that you get what resistance at zero degrees Celsius? You get 100. So we're showing that we're actually simulating 100 ohms into this. Let's change the value. Maybe I want 10 degrees. My resistance has changed. I could use this. Let me move over and I'll just start increasing my temperature until I get 20 milliamps out. Now I could, I could use this roller method or the nudge method, or I could simply type in a value. Maybe I want 100. So now we've entered 100 degrees and we have 20 milliamps out. So now we know our range is zero to 100. Now let's take a look at some other tools. On the input side, we have scaling. I'll show you what that is here in a second. Resolution, we can change the number of decimal places increasing or decreasing, stepping, ramping. There's also quick access buttons. Let's take a look at those. You can have predefined buttons to take your simulation to whatever points you define. As an example, I can hit 25 here, and now I'll get 25% of my output, which should be eight milliamps if my transmitter is working properly. Maybe in the control room they want to see a 20 milliamp output or 100% on the input. You just hit the button and you've got your output. Now you could go in here and manually press, maybe I want 58 degrees and you'll get the appropriate output. But this is quick access buttons. There are tools on the output as well. So the same button but in the lower part of the screen. We have scaling, alarm, damping, a leak, stability test, resolution changes. Let's go to scaling. Let's do something ridiculous. Let's convert 
our temperature input to what our DCS might be showing. So we have 0 to 100 input, and let's say that on a display in the control room, 0 to 100 degrees Celsius equals 0 to 50 gallons per minute. 4 to 20 equals 0 to 50 gallons per minute, and we'll just hit check. So let me put in a zero. So at zero in, we should be getting zero gallons per minute. Let's take it to the midpoint. 50 degrees in should give us our midpoint on the output, which is 25 gallons per minute. So again, this example isn't designed to make sense. It's just designed to get you thinking outside the box of the capabilities inside this box and how you might use those. This has been a presentation of calibration mode in the MC6. Thanks for watching.